Every summer there are stories in the headlines about days after children go swimming, their parents find them dead. It's a term that's been pegged as dry drowning. And according to the doctors I spoke with today, it's a real concern. Not really an acceptable medical term that we use. But that medical term has a lot of parents over the edge. Most of these things can be somewhat prevented. Yet most people don't know how it can be prevented but dry drowning versus wet drowning. It's merely describing whether water entered the lungs or water didn't enter the lungs. Dry drowning is a phrase that has many parents questioning their next trip to the pool. Dr. Matt Ledoux is a pediatric doctor at Brody Medical School and separates drowning into two major categories. First up, fatal drowning. Where patients actually um, die from the actual drowning event uh, at the time. Second category, non-fatal drowning. No. Uh, injuries, long-term injuries. It's not only alarming medical experts, but parents too. As a parent, I would definitely want my kids to have the, the proper training. I think from an early age, uh, that is one of the best uh, remedies for this type of condition. Michael Goodwin is a parent and is the director of AquaVenture Aquatics Campus and knows the preventative measures to take. Proper supervision of, of kids and adults in the pool, you know, I think it's something that can, can, you know, we make sure that it doesn't occur. One important tip to remember is to always take preventative measures when heading to the pool. Dr. Ledoux says dry drownings are very rare. He says you should watch your child for vomiting, coughing, chest pains, and trouble breathing days after you go in the water. He adds to make sure young children and adults aren't engaging in any risky behaviors, such as dumping or going too far into the ocean. Dominique Moody, 9 on your side.